On September 8th, we got the story in the mainstream media about Eric Bowling, and he got fired for his, you know, sexual conduct, his wiener pictures he was sending to people or whatever. And just hours later, supposedly his son died in Boulder, Colorado. What I'm going to show you in this video is how our media is constantly coded by the numbers. It is, they use gematria, which is the practice of coding numbers into words. And it is used by the Freemasons, the Jesuits, the people who rule over us every single day. They control our sports leagues. They code the media stories this way. Our history is all the same way. People, people's names equal a certain thing. They died that many days away from their birthday or whatever they were famous for. There's just so many examples. You know, what are the odds? There's been f Donald Trump's the 44th person to be the president. And three of the first five presidents all died on July 4th, the nation's independence. Just think about that for a second. What are the odds of that? And all throughout history, the same type of numerical code and, you know, how it's synced up to the calendar. It's all that same way. We had two of them presidents died on the same day on July 4th. And the other one died 1,826 days later on July 4th. In the year 1826, there's only been 44 people who were the president. What are the odds of something like that happening? That, that three of the presidents died on July 4th, the nation's independence? 74 is a super important number that you will understand in the link I'm going to leave in the description of this video called the How to Gematria. And I talk a lot about 74. Jesus, cross, Messiah. Lucifer, Muhammad, Joshua, Yeshua, Gospel, they all equal 74 in Gematria. Oregon, the 70, Oregon equals 74. It's the only state that equals 74, the 33rd state, right? Jesus supposedly died on the cross age 33. Anyway, let's look at some of this Gematria that I'm talking about. Please check out the link that I leave in the description. It just makes, it'll make that much more sense. But Eric Bowling equals the same as Fox News. I just want to show you this. Eric Bowling, 106. Fox News, 106. And the same method. That's why he works for, that's why he worked for Fox News. Because in Gematria, his name equals the same as where he worked if you notice, too, his name in the reverse method equals 191. And the reverse method makes a ton of sense. These people love as above, so below. They love, you know, the opposite is, you know, opposites attract, whatever, you know. And, for example, everything goes back to our alphabet and God. God equals 26 that's why our alphabet's 26 letters but if you notice god equals 55 in reverse just like the word heaven in the non-reverse way and god equals 17 in the reduction way just like the word hell in the reverse reduction way so just wanted to point out why the reverse thing is significant eric bowling equals the same as fox news the normal way his name equals 191 the reverse way. And the story of him getting fired and his son dying came 191 days after his birthday. And when I've seen 191, it's something I've been following for a while. But the Jesuits are connected to 191. Society of Jesus equals 191. There's been all kinds of stuff in regards to Pope Francis. There's been all kinds of priest stories in the news lately. 191, super significant number connected to the Jesuits. And when I looked this guy up, of course, he went to a Jesuit high school. He's a super Catholic. But, you know, what, what are the odds? It's synced up to his birthday. His name equals 191. His son dies and he gets fired 191 days after his birthday. 
I also pointed out his name, the small way equals 61, which is significant. Because in Jewish gematria, the word God equals 61. I pointed out really quick. God equals 61 in Jewish gematria. Jesus equals 61. Cross equals 61. Christian equals 61. Holy Spirit equals 61. With sins equal 51 or 61. You know, everything goes back to Saturn, who is the keeper of time. Time equals 61. Saturn is the bull god that equals 61. Even if you write out keeper of time, it equals 61. So, just pointing out the significance, the society of Jesus he has connections to. He also has connections to God with the number 61. And he was born on the 61st day of the year. His name equals 61. Born on the 61st day of the year. His name equals 191. Fired and his son dies 191 days after his birthday. Society of Jesus, the reverse, reduced way equals 79. And his son's full name, Eric Chase Bowling, equals 79. The word death equals 79, I believe. Let me type it out really quick. Death equals 79, or maybe it's murder. Murder equals 79. I got confused because murder of the small way equals 38, and death equals 38. Just pointing it out. Numbers you see a lot around people who die and whatever else. 79, murder. Lincoln equals 79, right? Lincoln murdered. Anyway, if you do a little research into his father, Eric Bowling, you find out that he went to Loyola Academy, which is a Jesuit high school or a Jesuit school or whatever. Jesuit equals 84. You also find out in 1984, he went to college and he was drafted in 1984 by the Pittsburgh Pirates, right? All this 84 when you're looking up, Jesuit equals 84. The story of him, uh, the Huffington Post or the Huff Post story in regards to him showing his dick or whatever to lewd pictures, whatever, came out on 8 4, right? 84, Jesuit, everything about it. He was fired 35 days, his son, and he was, his son died and he was fired 35 days after that story on 8 4. Catholic equals 35. Catholic also equals 71 the big way. Eric Bowling equals 71 the big way. Just Bowling equals 35 and 71 like Catholic. This was 35 days after the story of him, whatever. They also put a lot of emphasis of the name Eric in the story. And that Eric Bowling and then his son is also Eric Chase Bowling. And then they talk about Trump's Sons Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump express their condolences. Eric in Gematria equals 35, just like Catholic. Trump went to Fordham University, a Jesuit university. Donald Trump, his birthday, let's just show it to you really quick. Donald Trump's birthday, 614, to Pope Francis' birthday, a span of 187 days. Remember, Society of Jesus, the reverse way, 187, you know, this is ridiculous. Also, Eric Trump, born in the year 84, 33 years ago, 84, once again, like Jesuit, and who knows, I just wrote this in here, something I documented even, it was like when I was first learned Gematria, like I I learned that HH stood for 88 and Heil Hitler, and then whatever. I started applying it to just some small things and movies and whatnot. And I noticed that FedEx equaled 44, which is half of 88. And on the movie, the movie Castaway, Tom Hanks is on the plane that crashes in going to Malaysia. And then we have the Malaysian airline that was really synced up to Donald Trump and everything as well. But 
in that movie they say FedEx 88. That's what the that's what the, the plane is called. And then they say Eric is next. And I, I've been wondering what that was forever. I looked up a bunch of different stuff in regards to Eric. And it's interesting. It's the FedEx 88 plane. Trump equals 88. And Eric is next. Who knows? Possible. I doubt it. But, I, you know, it's interesting. Eric is next. Would Eric Trump be the next president or something? Even if you write out 46 president, it equals the same as his full name. Who knows, you know, but in regards to 1984 and this guy being born in 1984, Eric Arthur Blair is the, the real name of George Orwell, who wrote the book 1984, which is, you know, about identical anymore to the world that we're living in right now. So just some interesting things to think about. Trying to figure it all out, you know, looking from the outside in. Just documenting some things that are interesting, and we'll see how they play out, you know. But, no doubt, the story coded by the numbers, just like every other media story, just like everything you're told all throughout history, just like your sports leagues. You know, I it gets boring after a while, honestly, just going through the media, writing blog posts of the same thing over and over, and still people just don't get it. You'd go out... Explain it to, you know, everyone you know and everybody and nobody goes and applies it for themselves. And it's like it happens every single day, all day long. Like, I just don't understand when people are going to start to to see it too, you know. It's craziness. It's crazy that so many other people don't see this with as many examples as me and others have provided. But, you know, whatever. I'm going to keep making videos when I can. It just gets frustrating sometimes doing the same thing over and over and over because eventually I know it's going to pay off and I know that more people are going to understand this and I know that we're going to be able to make the world a better place because of it. So, you know, it's something that I'm never going to stop doing. I'm just going to keep showing people the same thing every single day until more people catch on, you know, and hopefully that's, you know, not in a hundred years, you know, but it, the way it's going, man, who knows? There's a thousand people who know and there should be 10 billion people who know by now. So whatever, peace. I really got to go to bed. Got to work in like a few hours, so peace.